What's up, everybody? Let's hear it. How you doing? Welcome to another edition of The Checkout Live from Berkeley College of Music webcast on WBGO, The Checkout from WBGO, the podcast that you can su subscribe to on iTunes and Stitcher, which I hope you've, hopefully you've done already. If you haven't, you will want to, I assure you. I'm Simon Rettner, the host. Uh, pleasure to be bringing to you uh, a lovely artist that I've been getting to know over the past few hours with an absolutely fascinating story, matriculated into this fine university college in 2011 on full scholarship, and uh, graduated in 2013, has since then moved to LA where he's working with some of the finest in LA's jazz scene, including Miguel Atwood Ferguson, who could not be here, unfortunately, this evening given the snowstorm. But regardless, we're going to be hearing the story and music of Daniel Rodham. He just uh, released his debut as an artist called Be Nice, and he has all new music in the works that we're going to be listening to here tonight on this live webcast. And I would like to give uh, his band members a warm welcome. So let's hear it, Amiro Sprague on the piano. <laughs> From Amherst, Massachusetts. Uh, from Sisters, Oregon, Jared Henderson. <laughs> the lovely, beautiful, fantastical Naples, Italy, Roberto Giacinto on drums. <laughs> and the leader, maestro, composer, tenor saxophonist from Tel Aviv, Please welcome Daniel Rodham and the Daniel Rodham Quartet.
Jacinto on drums, Roberto Jacinto, Jared Henderson on bass, Miro Sprague on the piano, the leader saxophonist, Daniel Roden. You just heard one of his original compositions, Good News, and it's good news for all of us for having Daniel here to grace us with his music. Um, and I can imagine it is good news all the time for this uh, blossoming saxophonist as well, as he's recently performed with, at the White House with Michelle Obama. He's been on a State Department tour that has taken him to Morocco. Uh, he just released his debut as a, as a record, as, a, as an artist, uh, Be Nice. Um, but I imagine um, I referred back to his fascinating story um, for your grandparents when they were trying to make a life for themselves. I can't imagine that it was good news for them all the time. Yeah, thank you, Simon. Um, it's really wonderful to be here and be here with you. Um, we try to keep the good news coming. Um, we don't always have good news, but yeah, my grandparents um, on both sides, uh, one side from Poland um, escaped the Holocaust in Europe. The other side escaped Iraq to get to Israel. So, you know, the good news is here. There's a beautiful family, and you know. And uh, I didn't even realize that they had a significant Jewish population in Iraq uh, yeah. when your grandparents yeah. were alive. Yeah, yeah. And they were experiencing their own kind of Holocaust. Uh, right. Something that your. Uh, how well did you know your grandparents? And and like, how, how much did they tell you about the horrors that they experienced? Um, I know my grandparents, um, thankfully, very well. I try to talk to them almost every day. Um, and I'm very grateful to have such a close relationship um, with both sides. Oh, so, so they're, they're yeah. still alive then? They're yeah, still yeah, uh, yeah. beautiful? Thankfully. I had no yeah. idea. Yeah. So, um, um, so how um, does this experience in your relationship with, with your, your past um, inform the music that you're making now? That's a great question. I feel like I'm 
still unraveling that and rediscovering um, my connection to my roots and trying to find a way to put that into music. Um, but I would say that all of us have things that we deal with and challenges we have to face in our lives. And, um, you know, I feel very fortunate to come from the family I'm coming from. Um, and in a way, you know, I feel a responsibility to continue the heritage that Dave taught me. Um, that's where being nice is coming from, too. Yeah. Excellent. Well, please uh, continue uh, with this marvelous set featuring Daniel Rodom. We're live at Cafe 939 at Berkeley College of Music's Red Room, and we're going to chat with the saxophonist a little bit later in this show. But now, more new music. Thank you, Simon. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, it's really beautiful to be here. The next song we'll play for you is called Who Is It? Thank you.
It's so wonderful to be here playing on the checkout live at Berkeley. Um, this last song you heard is entitled Push Through. So we push through the hard times, we push through the bad memories, and we find our path to make the present better for everybody. Um, this next one we'll play for you is entitled Different But The Same. We're all the same, we're all different, different but the same.
on the piano. Miro Sprague on the piano. Roberto Jacinto on uh, drums here. Jared Henderson on the bass. Daniel Rodham, the tenor saxophonist. Different but the same here. In this small probability, minuscule chance your grandparents are watching right now. I don't think so, no. Yeah, it might be yeah. really late back yeah, there. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But at, at, at some point, um, I'm sure they will be watching this. And um, any lessons they gave to you uh, about life in general, given everything that they both went through? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question because I can talk about it all night. Um, so many lessons and so many things that I've learned from them. Um, and it's interesting because when I was a student here at Berkeley, um, in my last year, Herbie Hancock was um, the guest professor at Harvard, and he gave a series of lectures. And in his first lecture, um, his introduction was, let me present myself in my own words the way I see it. He said, I'm Herbie Hancock, I'm a musician, I'm a pianist, composer, a husband, you know, a father. And then at the end he said, but most important, I'm a human being. And that's something that really resonates with me because that's the way I was brought up that we're first human beings. And I would say that if there's one lesson that I'm very grateful that I learned from my family is being a human being first, yeah. Uh, well, I think we can all agree that we hear your humanity through your horn. Thank you. Um, a, beautif a, a beautiful tone, uh, a beautiful sound. So first of all, rewind a little bit, take us back to Tel Aviv when you were growing up first getting into music, first playing the piano. I understand you were a bad student and getting into trouble a little bit before yeah, you... Yeah, every now and then. Um, I had a really hard time um, preparing homework, and I loved playing the piano, but I didn't quite do what I was asked to do. Um, so I wouldn't say I was a bad student, maybe a little bit, but I, I, you know, I had my share of coming unprepared. And so was there a moment where you were scolded for... Uh, it, yeah, there's, there's a funny story that... I, this is not, you know, to be repeated, but, um, so, <laughs> so we spoke about my grandparents and my grandmother tells the story how she came to pick me up from piano lesson one time and she came in and I was holding a folder and giving little hits to my teacher on the shoulder. <laughs> she was playing the piano. I don't know that it never happened. Trust me, it never happened, but she remembers that. So maybe, maybe it did happen. But I, I loved it, and I loved my teacher, and she was all, all of them were all very kind, you know, and patient with my inability to come prepared at times. So would then when you uh, fell in love with the tenor saxophone, and I, I know I hear all kinds of influences in your sound, but if you were just to give us your top three Ooh. tenor sounds Ooh. that you channel through your horn, who would it be? Wow, and that's such a difficult question. Um, you know, you love all of your family, right? You can't just choose one or two people and say, those are my favorite. That's um, why I gave you three. Oh, thank you. Well, three, uh, yeah, depends on the size of the family, I guess. Um, we have a huge family. Um, I would say that Coleman Hawkins was one of my early um, inspirations. Sonny Rollins, um, Dixie Gordon, John Coltrane, Wayne Shorter, uh, uh, Paul Gonzalez, um, Jimmy Forrest. Jimmy Forrest, sorry, that's more, more than three. I'm starting, I'm trying to stop, but they keep coming out. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, Charlie Parker, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Rodham. Thank you, thank you, Simon. And you're listening to The Checkout Live at Berkeley College of Music, Cafe 939. Thank you. So um, the next song we'll play for you um, speaks about the idea of inviting the future that we want to see, but working on it now. Um, and this one is called Serenading the Future. Thank you.
Once again, let's hear it. Miro Sprague on the piano. Jared Henderson, bass. Roberto Jacinto on drums. Jacinto. I said that, right? Jacinto, I've been saying that. Daniel Rodham on the tenor saxophone. Thank you, Simon. And thank you, everybody, for joining us on this yeah. live webcast, which will be archived on our website at wbgo.org. Check out jazz.org. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. We are actually releasing our program with Haley Nicewanger, the Berkeley uh, Check Out Live concert we recorded a few weeks ago. And it's an outstanding performance by her, another uh, outstanding uh, alumnus of Berklee College of Music. I would like to give a special shout out to everybody that is a part of making this series possible. Uh, Rob Hayes with the curation, Michael Borgida, <laughs> Ken Schiffman, and everyone, all you at Berkeley Video Services, thank you so much. Reggie Lofton at The Burn, and uh, David Tallickson on the music mix, making this sound so beautiful. And definitely uh, watch out for Daniel Rodham in the future and all of his musical ventures. Um, he's going to take us out with one more song and leave you. Thank you once again for joining us. I'm Simon Rettner. Thank you for checking us out. Thank you so much, Simon. So good to be here. And thank you all so much for being here. Um, we're going to finish with an older song, um, the title of the record that we spoke about before. Um, and this one is called Be Nice. Be Nice. Thank you again so much for being here. Thank you to Marco, Michael Burgida, Rob Hayes, everybody here working tonight. It's been a pleasure. Just wanted to thank them too because I, you know. Um, Miro Sprague, Jared Henderson, Roberto Jaquinto. Yeah.
you. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Raving the snow. Thank you. So good to play for you. One more time. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, WBGO. Pleasure to be here. Um, give it up one more time for Miro Sprague. Miro Sprague. Miro Sprague on the piano. Jared Henderson. Jared Henderson. Right here in Boston. You should go to all of his shows. He's so good. Jared Henderson. Roberto Jaquinto. Roberto Jaquinto. On the drums. Roberto Jaquinto. Thank you. My name is Daniel. Again, so good to be here back at Berkeley. So nostalgic to walk the streets of Boston. I'm looking forward to being back soon. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>